Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here, Jaws Podiatry. I'd like to present to everyone another very interesting case, sort of similar to one that we actually filmed this morning, a little bit similar. Um, come around this way. <clears throat> this is after the fact, this patient, <clears throat> presented to our office a couple weeks ago with with a really, really painful callus on the bottom of the foot, right underneath the fifth metatarsal, right? So, so we have one, two, three, four, five metatarsals, right? And underneath the fifth, right here, Right, right here. He has developed what we call in complex terms an, an intractable porokeratosis. Okay, it's sort of like a core of tissue, keratinized, tough. It, it, it feels like rubbery tissue that has been concentrated and pressed down into this little tiny, tiny location. And what it feels like, it's, a, it's basically having a pebble or a thorn inside your shoe. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. So he presented a couple weeks ago. We thought maybe he had a possible form body, right? Which can create a granuloma, like a cocoon with a form body inside. So we sent him for a CT scan to, to make sure there was no foreign body, none was found, right? The report said no foreign body. So now down the algorithm, we go to plan B. Structurally speaking, let's talk about structure. So the problem is that the patient is, he, he had a previous surgery on the right ankle, how many years ago? Um, two or three years ago. Two or three years ago, when you have, whether it's here, whether it's in the knees or anywhere else, the hips, person, individual, patient, starts to compensate in different ways. And in this particular case, I think the, the etiology, the reason why this is here is because of this. And I think the patient also believes that, that because of this, he's shifted all the weight to the left foot. So not only all of his weight, right, not only has it shifted, it's shifting into one specific location, there. So let's look at our diagram here. We have our, this is a side view. We have a metatarsal, right? We have the toe. And this, my friend, is what we call the IPK intractable porokeratosis. This is the pebble. So what I recommend is a minimally a minimally invasive procedure, right? This is a very delicate procedure, and I'll tell you guys why. Let's say, and I and I exaggerated here a little bit, he may have not only, the metatarsal may be a little bit dropped down like this, but also he may have a little bit of a, a, a little hypertrophy of the bone, right? A little bony protuberance, right? Or a spur. So what we, what I recommended is that we shave, okay, ever so slightly that little bone on the bottom of the metatarsal head in order to eliminate the pain. I did tell the patient, is your pain slash lesion gonna go away 100%? Hopefully, maybe 90%, maybe 95%, maybe 80%. But even at 80%, that's how I define success, right? The patient has been, I hate to use this word, suffering, really, uh, tremendously for the last several months, and it's affecting his daily life activities. So I recommended that we make a tiny little incision right here, go in there, and basically just shave the metatarsal head, the bone. Get, get, get a clear view. Can you see there? Look at the center. 
look at the central portion. It looks like, you see that? It's a core in there and I cannot shave it anymore because after that, I'm gonna cut the skin. And I can just by gently just going like this, I feel the bone. Very important to note that we have to be very careful when it comes to structure and biomechanics. We have to be very, very careful. There has to be a very fine line between removing too much bone or not. Because there's something that, you know, you try to fix one problem and you can actually create another one. Something that I was talking to him about, something that we call a transfer lesion. If you take too much bone from here, right, you can recreate the same clinical presentation on the metatarsal next door, the fourth. And we don't want to do that. So uh, again, I hope this has been a, a, a great video for a lot of people. I think a lot of people will relate to this video because not only do you see these here, you see them underneath the fourth, third, second, or even the first metatarsal heads. <coughs> Excuse you. <clears throat> www.jawspodiatry.com, Instagram, Dr. Tojam, Facebook, uh, Jaws Podiatry, and lastly, our YouTube channel, Jaws Healthcare, whether the left foot or the right foot, and you can add, just quickly, look at this, look, look at this, look at this, look, look at the callus, and I, and I'm pressing on, it's like concrete, this is all, it boils down to one word, I'll make it to pressure, structure, have a wonderful day.